Hello there, this is uh, Miguel. This is my first video um, on this channel. I'm gonna go golfing. Well, kind of. Um, well, I'll need to introduce myself. I'm from Canada in Winnipeg, Manitoba. If you're not sure where that, where that is, it's uh, central Canada. Uh, right now it's February here. A um, few days to March and in Canada at that time of the year, well, mostly the whole of Canada or Eastern or Central Canada, we are covered in snow. So I'm not going to be able to golf uh, outdoors, but I'll be going indoors uh, in a simulator. So I'm going to the car loading my my uh, clubs and it's a little slippery. Um, I bet the neighbors are looking at me and like giving me that look like, where is he? Golf? Every golf course is closed right now. Um, I'm going to go to Shooter's Golf, which is around 10 minutes away from here, from our house. Um, it's uh, when it's summer, when we can actually golf. It's a restaurant and a driving range where I usually practice my uh, short game and long game. Um, it's also uh, a short par three course, executive course. Um, on your right, that's Kildonan Golf Course. That's the municipal golf course uh, built in 1901, I believe. So it's uh, more than 100 years now. Um, it's the closest golf course from our house, and that's where we play the municipal tournament every year, which uh, I join every year. Uh, so yeah, here we go. A few minutes to go to shooters, and um, let's, uh, give you a view of uh, Winnipeg when it's covered in snow. Nothing much to see. We're in the prairie, so everything is flat. There's no mountain here. And here is shooters on your right. Just going to park the car. Um, it's 8 a.m. here, so most of the people are asleep because it's a Saturday, the weekend. Uh, it's the only time I get to spend uh, golfing. So I work Mondays to Fridays. So here is the uh, basement where they're indoor golf or simulator is uh, situated um, you can see that they use the flight scope machine so there's a uh, two artificial mats there and a golf ball some golf clubs by the teaching pro uh, yeah here we go there's this is flight scope it's like uh, if you're familiar with the uh, uh, these uh, tracking systems it's like gc2 or trackman as the more popular ones are so it tracks the ball, so it's uh, pretty accurate. Not sure indoors though. So before I start, I usually warm up uh, to get loose. I hit I hit my uh, wedges to mid irons, long irons to the driver. I'm just gonna fast forward this one for you. Okay, so I'm playing uh, Bay Hill Lodge right now, or uh, in this video, I mean um, that's in Florida, where the, that's the home of uh, the Arnold Palmer. Invitational golf tournament. Um, it's the first time I'm gonna play this course, so I'm not really familiar with it. So hopefully I can get a good score. Hopefully less than 10 over. Um, the simulator it doesn't capture putting, so it it just computes it for you. So don't take it seriously. I take it with a grain of salt. Grain of salt. Okay, uh, hole number four, uh, par five, 480 yards. Um, using a driver here. I actually skipped the holes that I bogeyed, so I don't want to bore you to death, so I'm just gonna go straight to the holes that I made par. Right now, not sure what my score is, but um, I will find that, that out later. And here I, can, I found the fairway. Um, usually I drive the ball around 230 yards with my driver. I'm not a long hitter, as you can see. I just have a real, really relaxed, smooth swing. Don't want to over overpower the uh, golf ball. Usually causes uh, wild shots for me. So second shot, three wood, usually 220, 230, depending on the hit. And that's uh, on the fairway. Set myself up for a good second shot. Or I mean uh, third shot, sorry. So third shot, half wedge to the green. There we go. Two putts for par as the simulator counts it. Um, 11 feet to the hole. I usually am pretty good with my pitching and chipping, putting in real life. That's a different story. Um, so hole five, number, or hole five, yeah, par four, 300 plus yards. 
again with the driver. Uh, in real life, I'm not really good with my driver. I usually fade it and then my misses are a snap hook and, uh, and a slice because of my uh, swing. It's uh, uh, outside to in swing a little bit. Uh, I stopped fighting it. I just go with it and, and um, I survive. So, okay, here we go on the fairway again. Second shot. I believe this is, this is an eight iron or nine iron. Can't remember. Get another easy swing there. And there we go. Hits the green about uh, 10, 15 yards to the hole. And computer computes it two putt. Okay, hole number six, bar five. Really like this hole because I hit a fade, so it actually uh, suits my fade. Um, don't want to go left. There's a big, big lake there on the left. And just like what this after I did. Barely made it. Good thing I hit a fade there. Okay, 200 plus yards to go. Hybrid. Again, I want to hit my fade. Keep it dry. Going to the right. Right. Yep, very safe. Far from the water. <laughs> Okay, 64 yards, third shot into this uh, bar five. Again, told you my pitching game, pretty good. Okay, moving on, um, next hole, number seven, par three, 146 yards, 150. Um, I think I'm using a seven iron. By the looks of it, sorry, I can't remember. Uh, again, easy swing. Just want to get it somewhere near the green or around the green. And I hit that one good. So it's on the green. Um, computer computes that uh, to a par 2 putt, I believe. So again, another par. So hole number 8, par 4, 380 plus yards. Um, this is quite far for us amateurs who don't hit it that long. So... Hopefully I get this one in two. And there you go. I slice it. Uh, good thing there's not a lot of trees to the right. But there's one, two there. But uh, yeah, this one, um, I'll hit a, a low shot, punch shot in between the trees. Five iron. 150 yards to go. Water to the left. And it goes straight. There we go. We're on the green. That's my most favorite shot. The in this session. So 8 feet, computer computes it to 2 putt, par. Okay, um, hole number 12, par 5, 478 yards. Um, really average par 5 for amateurs. This is uh, somewhat uh, not too long, not too short par 5. Driver off the tee. Again, easy relaxed swing and there you go, slice it again. Slice or a big fade, whatever you want to call it. I don't like it. That only went like 200 yards. I didn't hit it that well. Okay, good thing. It's wide open to the green, so I'm going to hit my three wood. Let's see how far it goes. And another fade there, but that's okay. It's wide open. So I'm setting up myself for a nice pitch to the green. So it says 86 yards. So yeah, my favorite went even farther, 219, than my drive, which was 200. So 80 something yards. Uh, this should be an easy approach wedge. I could force my sandwich, but I'd rather use a, a very relaxed swing with this one. Um, my goal is to just put it on the green or around the green. I'll be very happy. There we go. So you can see it's very, very relaxed approach wedge or gap wedge, whatever you want to call it. And it's on the green with an artificial backspin. 13 feet, I'd be happy with that. Um, computer computed, I believe it's a two putt. So far again. So we jump to hole 14, par 356 yards. Uh, right now, I'm not sure what my score is, but I believe it's around plus six. So, easy 6 iron. This one is straight, turning a little bit right, but it should be fine. 
it's on the green and the flag is on the left i don't know if you can see it so 11 feet to the flag again that is a very good shot in my standard so i am very happy with that shot um one putt according to the computer so that's a birdie I'm not sure in real life 11 feet i'm a little shaky on that one in real life okay par four 405 yards uh, this one I did not par, but I just want to show you something um, with the physics of this E6 simulator. So I, again, sliced it to the right, avoided the bunker. So I said, yeah, I should be happy with that. 214 yards, I know it's short. So here, I'm trying my luck to get this through the trees. I was like, this is just simulator. doesn't compute trees or something, but it does. I hit a branch and as you can see, it only went 31 yards. So that reminded me that the simulator is uh, a little bit real. Don't try to uh, hit the trees and expect it to go through. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So I pay the price. Um, hitting my third shot, I'm still away around 100 and plus yards. Um, again, trying to get it around the green or on the green. And it is on the green. So, um, oh no, uh, it's not, it's on the fringe. Okay, so I'm chipping par and um, more or less I'll uh, two putt on this one, 25 feet to go. So that would be a nasty double bogey because of my mistake. Okay. Hole 16, par 5, 450 yards. Um, this is a short par 5, but there's water on the right, so I didn't even realize that until I was editing this one. So I did not hit that well again. Went to the right. Thank you for that swing outside to in. Um, 216 yards drive. That is really not good. Um, this one I hit it through the through that bush and it did go through so i was lucky there um 107 yards to go again i missed it that one as well that iron um i believe i'm using a pitching wedge here or nine iron i'm just gonna hit a very again easy swing um I'm trying to experiment with this easy swing because usually i try to hit it hard and my ball goes all all directions so this one easy not too long just enough on the green and that backspin again i don't really do that in real life so 34 yards computer computes it two putts and that's the par for me which i will be very very happy uh in real life i usually try to play bogey golf and that works that system works for me and i usually hit like any anywhere between high 80s to the low 80s sometimes 70s if i'm lucky okay par three uh there's water everywhere on the right at the front and this one i hit it pretty good it's on the green uh, 10 feet computer computes it to what one putt, so another birdie. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So that's uh, 18 holes, and I cut the um, the holes that I did not score par, uh, except for one, which I want to show you the realistic uh, nature of this uh, software. So final score is plus nine. Uh, on the E6 software, it says I scored even par. The explanation for that is that it counted some uh, putts that were one putt, so that would be uh, birdie. But in real life, I don't know if I would redeem really those ones, so um, don't take this one, the total score, seriously. I'd take it a grain of salt with a grain of salt. Um, but anyway, if you rate the long game of this software, it's pretty accurate. Uh, with the short game, though, it's, um, it's a little spotty, so sometimes it's accurate, sometimes it's not. So I don't trust the software that much. Um, but overall, the software uh, graphics and the gameplay. Uh, it's pretty good if you want to like keep on swinging on winter if you live in a place where there's winter though um, i'd still prefer to play outdoors but um, i take whatever i can since uh, in my situation i can't so 
Um, this is my first year of uh, playing almost every week, every weekend indoors. So hopefully a month from now, um, that would be early April when we play. I would be ready and um, I won't be rusty. Um, yeah, and that's uh, that's my game. And I'd uh, hope to make more videos so that um, I could show you uh, on um, how I uh, go around golf courses. Um, hopefully one month from now I can take a video of myself playing really outdoors because that would really show you um, how I usually score. Um, I usually score around high 80s to the low 80s, sometimes 70s if I'm lucky. Um, here I'm still hitting some golf balls from the uh, virtual <coughs> sorry, driving range. Um, because when we book this one, it's um, per hour, not per game. So I still have 10 more minutes to go. Um, next week, I'll be playing with my buddy. So hopefully, I can take a picture. Sorry, uh, not, a, not a picture. I mean a video of our game. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. And um, hope you like or subscribe to this channel. And I hopefully can add more content uh, golf-wise or other things. Um, okay, have a good one, guys. Bye.